Hey guys, welcome back to the channel where we cover both fun and practical effects for the Vinci Resolve. Today we're going to focus on three Zach King style effects in hopefully under 10 minutes. So let's get started. Number one, the Zach King close change. Two, the Zach King color change. Number three is going to be the Zat King from through a wall. In order to achieve the close change effect, you're going to need to record two clips. You're going to need a first clip where you're simply trying to remove the item of clothing. So you're just going to pull it, your, in this case we're just going to pull the jacket. And then we're going to record a second clip standing in the exact same position. With the item of clothing already removed, we're just going to lay it over the top. And then we're going to perform in the, uh, the same position, perform the same action and pull that off. Once we've recorded our clips, we're going to go and jump into DaVinci Resolve. We're going to select the first clip and we are going to uh, cut it just as we are pulling away. So if we get the, the frame right, right there, that's our out point. And we select our in point, drag that in. And then with the second part of the clip, we try to line it up exactly so that as we pull in away, we set our in point to match our out point of the previous clip and then if we drag these in and join them together we should have something that looks quite convincing now this is I've just brushed this at this point just to as an example but if you take the time just to, uh, to line your clips up if you select between the two clips and you use the colon uh, sorry the um, the full stop and the uh, comma, you can slowly, frame by frame, adjust your clips so you can look at them side by side so that they're exactly lined up. And then if you play those, you can see that you've got them pretty much correct. And you can then add in a cross dissolve between the two chip, uh, between the two clips, and this will just smooth that motion out even further to make it more seamless. And once you get right, it looks like you're just ripping the clothes straight off of your body. Next up, we have the colour change. So to perform this uh, little trick, we need to select the cut tool on our timeline. And we want to uh, analyse our footage and cut exactly where we get the snap. So using the waveform, we can see here that this is where I click my fingers. So I'm just going to perform a cut there, a cut here and a cut here and these are the three snaps of the fingers where we're going to do the color change so we need to hover over the um, the part of the cut where we're going to do the first color change and jump into the color tab <coughs> just make this a bit bigger and to do this we need to select this little um, qualifier uh, icon here and this is going to allow us to uh, isolate a color and use that colour to make alterations. So it should be okay on the standard HSL, but we do have a few different options here that you can try out. You can try which one works best for you. I'm just going to stick with the HSM, HSL for now. And what we're going to do is draw a line across our shirt. And this is going to create what's called a key. And it's going to try to isolate out the colour that we've selected. Now you can see it hasn't selected everything. So we have here a little plus sign and what we can do is we can click in these dark areas and it will add in the, um, the areas that we want. If you select too much you can use the, uh, the little minus um, qualifier and take out anything that you don't want in there. Now it's going to be a bit of a um, 
bit of work just to get it right. Now you can make it a lot easier on yourself and not be as silly as I am where I've used blue jeans and a blue shirt. You want the shirt colour to be stand out and not be the colour of anything else in the scene, ideally green or blue because they're going to be the easiest colours to key. So as just a quick rough um, way to show you after this, I'm not going to uh, go into the depth that I did to achieve it because I had to create a, a mask window around here to isolate out my jeans as the qualifier was picking those up too because I, like I said earlier, I wore the blue jeans. So once we've uh, isolated the shirt, we go into the uh, U versus U tab in the, uh, the curve section and we're just going to click and drag and this is going to alter the color of our shirt. And you can just drag around until you get the, the color that you want. The purple seems to work well. Uh, when I changed the green it did seem to uh, cause a slight problem on the outline where you had a slight blue, bluish tint around the edge but for this video it wasn't too big of a problem. Uh, we then after we've done the first clip we can jump into the uh, the next clip and rather than going through it all again if you just click the middle mouse button on the clip before it will isolate all the same areas and you can just do the color change to whichever color you want it to be so then when you come back to your edit tab and you press play you have a, a green change and then a purple change and then we just left it standard to go back to the normal blue and that is how you achieve the color change like I say just take some time to uh, isolate the key properly rather than roughly like I've done here and you can get a, a, a nice fancy effect and now the Zat King jump through a wall so for this you're going to need four different clips you're going to need a clean plate for the background um, you're going to need a clip of you trying to jump through the wall you're going to need a clip of you dropping the pants against the wall after you've jumped through the wall and then a final clip of you coming back through the door and picking the pants up so the way we achieve this is we need to create a mask around you as you jump towards the wall the way I found easiest to do this was I created a freeze frame right at the point where my body hits the wall I then created a couple of frames where I created a mask around my trousers so the trousers stayed there and the mask around my upper body which I shrunk over a couple of frames to give the effect as though I was going through the wall I then stood next to the wall lined up my pants pretty much where they would be from the initial jump clip and I masked myself out dropped those pants and um, then I simply left the room came back in and picked them up and as you place all those clips together you get the effect that you've jumped through the wall your pants fell off and you've come back in once again thanks for watching guys please drop a like and subscribe and I will keep these videos coming until next time see you later